What's up guys, I'm Jacques Slade, and a couple of weeks ago, uh, I should just say a couple of weeks ago, about a week or so ago, Under Armour invited me out to do uh, kind of a wear test. It was Under Armour and Finish Line, and they wanted me to try out two shoes. One is this shoe, which is the Under Armour Speed Form Apollo, Apollo Vent, I should say, and this is the Under Armour Speed Form Gemini. Now, before I tell you my thoughts on both of these shoes, uh, let's take a quick look at the run. Now let's take a look at the shoes. First up, let's talk about this one. This is the Under Armour Speed Form Apollo Vent. Uh, vent, obviously, because it makes it a little bit more breathable, and it has this like pretty cool design on it, and they have these crazy colors. Now, this is more about natural running, or um, what do you even call it? If you have, if you want more feel when you run, so this one is obviously a lot thinner. The upper is a little bit thinner. Still has a nice heel counter here to keep you locked in. But this one's more about feel and getting a feel for the ground and a feel for where you're running. Now, that's, it's good. It feels great. You know, it's not too thin, so it's like hurting your feet when you run or you really feel the concrete, but you can definitely feel the concrete. Uh, the only drawback I would say to this one is that um, if you run over a rock or you run or you, you step on a rock or something like that, you'll definitely feel it more in these just because they are, they're, they are a little more on the thin side and there's not as much cushioning. There's actually like no insole in here, so you don't, you can't add a little bit of extra cushioning from the insole or anything like that. But Otherwise, it's a good shoe. I'm not saying it's a bad shoe at all. Those that like that feel, that like natural running, or that like to have a bit more feel when they run, the Under Armour Speed Form Apollo Vent is probably for them. Now, the other shoe that they had is this shoe, which is the Under Armour Speed Form Gemini. Now, this one is obviously, as you can see, it's bulkier, it's a bit bigger, and more of the traditional running shoe that the casual runner would wear. I would say this is more for um, a person that runs a little more, and this is probably more for the casual runner. As you can see, there's more cushioning, and this is the shoe that I actually preferred when I was running. Um, it still looks good. I actually, I've been rocking these casually, actually a different color of these. There's a blue pair that I wear, that I've been wearing casually. But you can run in these as well, and they still have the, they have a thicker heel counter. This gives you, basically this one is about more stability. So if you're not a runner that runs all the time and your body's finely tuned as a runner, then this shoe is probably gonna be the one that you want. That's in my opinion. Um, has a mesh upper, so it's breathable, very lightweight, but then again, the cushioning is here. You see it's a lot thicker, has charged cushioning, which is the same thing that's in the uh, Curry One, for those that have the Curry One, has that same sort of charged cushioning there. Um, but this is just the one that I prefer, prefer, and this is, again, is the Under Armour Speed Form Gemini. I really like the way that these look. Um, I think Under Armour is actually making some great strides in that area. Now, um, if you are a runner or if you're thinking about running, then I would say go about go with this one, the Speed Form Gemini. If you already run and your body's finely tuned and you kind of know what you want in a shoe, then I would say go for this one because it has uh, a bit more feel and it's, it gives you, helps, it's better with your stride if you already know your stride. This one, if you don't know your stride, if you don't know if you pronate or if you over pronate or any of those things, then this is probably the one that you want. But if you if you know all that stuff, then this is probably a better suit, a better solution for you to run with. Um, uh, both of these are actually available right now. Actually, I'll put links down in the description for you guys to check both of these out. Um, I believe this one is 100, and I believe this one is 130, which our prices are not bad for a good quality pair of running shoes. Again, um, both of these are available. I am your host, Jacques Say. If you haven't already, why don't you like, favorite subscribe and all that stuff and also hit that thumbs up button because it definitely definitely helps out and shows a little love all right guys i am Jacques slade and enjoy your week if this is the week when you're watching this video either way hope you enjoy yourself and i'll see you soon peace